Hello, welcome back. This is James Herrera from UXShape. Today we'll continue our inventory mobile app prototype. And uh, what we've done, we've been able to prototype all these sections so the user can log in, can retrieve their password, and we will send them a PIN code and they can sign up as well. So they can do all that right now. So what we need to do next is we need to go back to our sketch. Um, then we will look at once the user has been able to retrieve their password and uh, we've sent them a pin code they will note this pin code down you know on a piece of paper and the user is directed to a page where they can now um enter their pin code to verify it so the process we're going to look at here we're going to look at this process is if um we're going to check user can verify pin code so we check for if user if pin code is correct then direct user to reset password page if pin code is wrong show error message so that's what we're going to do then the next part we will do is we will check user can request callback user can request another pin to another number and all these user can do that before they can actually reset their password so this is going to be a, a a long tutorial and I will try and t make it a bit shorter but I will not want to rush so that everyone can um, follow as I as I prototype so this is what we're going to we just minimize this now and let's go back to Azure we already have this page here so I'm just going to change this back color to you know a bit darker and I'll remove this for now so this is the page that the user is going to uh, be directed to when they um, sign up first but because I want to make this interactive I will just grab this for now and um, firstly what we can do we could have another box here rectangle widget uh, and we can make this for the process of um, sign up and also um, the retrieve password as well so what we would do is we would do this and we could let's see if we can you know i think we'll, we, we'll just leave this like this for now i will put this here oh let's make this transparent let's remove the border first um let's make this transparent so we can see and what we need to do we need to make this dynamic panel so we have dynamic panel inside of a dynamic panel so it's like a nested you know <laughs> dynamic panel so if you want to understand how dynamic panel work you need to watch uh, my other tutorial about dynamic panel so you can actually use that and what we've been doing all all this time we've been able to prototype everything on a single page and we've had a lot of interaction on a single page so your level of uh, focus will need to be up and you need to understand how this dynamic panel works so that you can arrange your widget properly so we have this as a dynamic panel so i'm just going to say a uh, pin code verify and password reset and i'm just going to have one state for now and i'll remove this and uh, let's copy this and let's put this back to uh where we are move this so we go to pin code verify and this state one I'll just paste this in here so let's increase this a bit and let's put this here so this is for the um, verification now this for the password reset rather we will have this password reset here and I'll copy everything as well and let's have another one which says um, pin code verify and this will be 
password reset so pin code verify and password reset i'll just make it go like this so we have that pin code verify i'll paste this here increase this and our pin code verify we have um a bit of sketch that we're going to do here we're going to have this um enter pin code and verify pin code and some bunch of text so i'll change this button immediately to verify verify pin code yep and uh what we're going to do again we're going to let me see if we can change this back color to black actually so that we can see what we are doing I will ungroup this and we will make here and say pinko txt that's what we need for now and I will just remove this and remove these other text boxes we don't need this one so we, we just had some bunch of text and Let's add some text here and let's say let's say enter the pin code sent to you via text message And we have this save this as Marvin Pro. We can make this center. Enter pin code, change the text to white. So we have that. And um, let's just move this a bit up. And we're going to add another text again so i'll duplicate this sometimes the user might forget that they've um, they request this um the pin code to a particular number and they've forgotten that number so we just say if the user want to change they can change as well change the number um change your number or want us to call you instead so what we are trying to do here is that the user can request another uh, you know another pin code through another number or they can um, they can decide to they can decide to call us if they want to um, they want us to call them and give them their their pin code so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this, um, I'm going to make this and I'll make this button here, which will be call me. No, call me. So we have this call me. all right so we have this call me and we could maybe make this um transparent if we want to and we can make this white and we can remove the shadow in this one and we can change the text to to white so so we have this pin code we're going to have this and we have this as the form the user is going to fill and we have this as what the user is going to interact with to get another pin code and also for for us to call them back you know using the app although we're not going to prototype that part of a uh, you know of us calling them back we're just going to show um one thing so we have this and we have that so we're going to group this and let's just make sure everything is aligned properly. So we have this now that is fine for the pin code verification. 
so we have this as the pin code verification form and once we have that we can go to reset password and we can just change it back color so you know the user will be able to reset their password here uh, we could get this text here and add it to our um, reset password and we could get this back background here and remove it from here and add it to here so that everything is well aligned properly so we can have we can ungroup this and we can align all this properly so everything is perfect okay so the next thing we're going to do now is to verify if the pain is available if the pain is not available then you know we display an error message which is um simple so we're going to check here if pain is correct and if pain is not correct we're just going to do that and the user can reset their password and also the user can call me back so the first we need to work on is the cell verify pin so back again i'll go here because we've done this before i'll just grab this and because we have it at um it's three dynamic panel so i'm just going to use one and say um can name this as a pin code verify we have this pin code verify and uh, we'll say here it's um, all fields completed which is fine we're gonna use that one as well and next step again we're going to say pin code verify uh, I'll just name this two and then we will have this um, if our pin code is fine so pin code pin code found so if the pin code is found we're going to have that dynamic panel um show and if this pin code is not which is three i'll just name that as three so if pin code So we say if pin code is is not present. So first thing we check if pin code is found, we display this. If pin code, um, if uh, the pin code we have the text field, we did not feel any pin code inside it. We're gonna display this error. And if this pin code we have it and then it's present we get um is not present we're gonna display this error and if everything is fine we're just gonna show this so let's go back to our pin code verify and we will have this interaction to it although because we've copied it i will just remove all, all the interactions we have here so that we can start from the beginning so i can name this uh verify pin code btn and we will have the on click event to it we add conditions and say um we need to differentiate this email address as well okay so we have it as pin code txt already so we're just gonna say um pin code pin code txt so if pin code is empty we'll say all field must be correct so we say show and and bring to front we can show and bring to front so we will we will go to our pin code verify um We cancel this let us check it from here and let's see which one we'll need here 
we have lots of dynamic panels so we need to be sure all right so um if it's empty so we're going to display pin code verify only not the pin code verify one all right so we have this add condition and we'll say pin code txt that's fine and we say show and bring to front so we say pin code verify only yep we have this show as light box and we'll say pin code verify and show as light box we just need to change this off field must be completed yep that's fine the next check we're going to do is we're going to check uh, i'm going to cancel it we just click on the unclick and we have the else part and we will say pin code txt if pin code txt equals um if pin code equals six five four three two one which is wrong we'll close that and say show and bring to front and then we will show something um pin code which is the third pin code verify which is going to show us an error message that we cannot find um, that pin code so we will enter here and say that pin code does not exist all right so we have that oh instead of saying does not exist we can say invalid that pin code is invalid all right so we save that and we go back to verify pin and we had our third case if pin code is correct what we're going to show is we're going to show the reset password uh page so we have this pin code txt and if pin code is correct we say OK, we say show, we say bring, and then we will, what we'll show is the password reset actually. So we don't need this part, we just need to set our dynamic panel state, which is uh, pin code verify, and we will say this state is what we want to show. And we can maybe add animation to this just to give the user a bit of um, good interaction when they are working on our app so let's test that part and let's see what's happening here the user forgot the password they enter correct email address we are sent pin code and they land on this page the user try to enter pin all field is in is needed to be completed the enter six five four three two one we will have an error we say pin code is invalid and we will also check if pin code is correct and we will go back and slide but what we need to do we need to make sure we have our um, error messages here we need to align this properly back group this and put it at the center so that they show in our center screen so that is what we have now uh, let's go back to our pin code verify and we just change this email address um, text int to pin code we say pin code we say pin code let's go back again and refresh this um, forgot password enter correct email address retrieve password they've been sent their pin code they enter you know the correct pin code which is one two three four five six and they, they can now reset their password and we can have all this interaction there 
so the reset password is we because we've copied everything and because we are using the same button which is for the reset password all our um code that we have here on the onclick event has come along with it so what we just need to do is instead of us um using this email address here we can just say let me see what we have in the reset password we have all our code here reset password which is email address so what we need to, we need to remove the email address section from it so in our edit condition we can remove this value here and okay and we can edit here and remove the value here okay and and we can remove the value here click ok and we can remove the value here as well and okay so once we have that we can just delete this email address part of of our page so we group this together and we can actually move this a bit closer we group this together yeah and we can leave it at this so what we need to do we need to change the back color to transparent go to verify pin code and then change the back color as well to transparent and we can try our prototype again so we go back here and we say we forgot our password we enter the correct email uh, email address we can retrieve our password we are sent this pin code we note that pin code down if we try to put anything here off please complete our fields if we try to put the wrong um, pin code it tells us that pin code is invalid and if we enter the correct pin code it gives us this um, page for us to reset our password and we can enter our password one two three four five six we can enter our password here once its password is correct we can reset and it's saying email address is in wrong format all right so but we've not done that part here so let's go back to our verify our password reset and we'll say All right, what we need to let's edit this condition here yeah this is talking about the uh, password so we have here um, if both password match actually we can remove this we can remove this case here and we can just um, let's try this case and let's see what we have here we have this password and let's enter the correct pin let's try to reset our password saying email address is in wrong format all right okay okay you know i think because we just cancel it out we just probably have to remove it we have repeat password and we have password txt all right so what we need to do here is we need to check this case and see what we are doing right password txt is this that is fine um password txt empty which is fine and password txt this is fine all right so let's go back to our error messages for our email address that we are resetting our password um, because we are using the same 
information i'm just going to change some things here so we have an error message here so we will there's a lot of dynamic panel um, i will advise wherever possible try not to use a lot of dynamic panel you can use different pages but sometimes it's much easier for me to work with the dynamic panel so you will look for the error message or probably maybe what we could do we could give our own error message so we say correct email address format all right so yeah that's not what we are showing what we are showing here actually uh we are not displaying this one we're going to remove this first case actually we remove this first case let's try our retrieve password again forgot password i'm sorry at gmail.com we enter the correct pin code we enter the correct password and then we are directed to home page so that is working now so what we've done in this tutorial we've been able to check if um, the pin code is correct if the pin code is wrong we have um, an error message so I'll just let's minimize this and let's check it again we go back to the landing forgot password we try to enter we enter the correct email address and then we will save retrieve our password let's try to enter wrong pin code pin code is invalid let's try to submit without entering anything all field must be completed and let's enter the correct password which we have is going to be this and once we reset our password here we will go back to the home screen what we've not done however is we've not done this call back requests and also if user change their pin we're going to move this to an, the next tutorial because i think we might be taking too long in one video so i want to short that so that we can also create another video tutorial for if the user want to change their number then they can change their number and we can just do that um so what we have here is user is redirected to home screen one password reset is successful so i'll just tidy this design up you can go back to verify just tidy it up change this to that and we can refresh this i'll just maximize this now so recap of our tutorial from the splash screen we have the onboarding user click get started they can enter email address and login so i'll enter email address um, password and they go to landing home, home screen if they're on the landing page and they cannot remember their password they can retrieve their password using this as well we send them a pin code this page loads the user enter the correct pin code and we can have them reset their password once they've reset their password successfully they are landed onto the home page i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and in our next tutorial what we're going to work on will be we're going to work on our home screen session because what we've done now we've done the retrieve password interaction and we've done the reset password interaction the next tutorial we need to work on the home screen session so i'll see you in the next tutorial if you have any question um 
give me a comment and if you want any help with your prototype send me a comment as well you can also um, request this file and it will be sent to you and also do subscribe to our channel and uh, you get more video tutorials as we we'll go along so stay tuned and uh, see you in the next tutorial bye